A big number of you are actually rating people per hour proposals the wrong way. Crafting a people per hour proposal which will get you hired is very very easy. In this video, you learn what to include in your proposal so as to get hired. Coming up with the right proposal should not be a tough task. Welcome to Actionable User, where we talk about freelancing. And without wasting much of your time, let's get started. I mean, people per hour, there's this project which has been posted that I want to apply to. Now, this project is about writing blog posts. Then it was posted two days ago and currently there are 64 proposals. And these are some of the individuals who have applied. Now I want to send a proposal and you can see the higher rise over here and the description, yeah, all this. Now you need to first of all read all of this and understand what this is about. Then you can come and write your proposal over here before you click on send. Okay, so let's first of all start by understanding what she wants so that you can go to Microsoft Word and actually come up with a very, very nice proposal. So I've opened the description over here and Microsoft Word here so that I can see what she needs and I can craft my cover letter to match it. So here's a cover letter which I've come up with. First of all, I've started with greetings, hello, then I've mentioned her name. As you can see, Jenny G over here. So hello, Jenny. Then this opening line, I've come to the name of the project, which is blog posts. I've started by writing, I see that you require assistance in blog content writing. I can help you in that sector and I can commence right away. I'm telling her that I actually understand what her project is about, which is blog content writing. Next, I'm coming and telling her that I believe I'm the perfect match for your task since I've been involved in multiple numerous related clients. So here I'm giving her a reason to hire me instead of all the other applicants. As you can see, we have many more applicants over here. Then I'm telling her over the years I've written SEO optimized content for blogs, websites and other platforms which are similar to hers. Until this point, this was all about introduction and pleasantries. So now I start echoing, telling her the exact things that make me a, a match for her. Over here, she communicates that she needs someone who is bilingual, someone who can write children's books and reviews about children's books. Yeah, someone who can write content about learning and languages and someone who can write original content and all this other information and they are promising that if you become the winning candidate you'll get an ongoing project so you'll be hired on a series of other more related projects so here i'm telling her that i read a lot and i have written book summaries and reviews for diverse audiences including kids so i'm telling her i can do exactly what she wants and actually here i'm using the keywords which she has used she wants children's books and i've told her that I've written book summaries and reviews about kids. So you don't have to use the exact words she has used here, but you need to understand the keywords of which she has a focus on kids content. She has used actually the word children and I've used kids over here. I didn't want to regurgitate so much. I didn't want it to look like I've sat down and copy pasted this description and pasted it in my proposal so you can use other words to look more original after doing that i'm coming here down and telling her that i'm fluent in more than one language and thus i can write content which will appeal to a larger reader base she wanted someone who is bilingual i have avoided the word bilingual since i didn't want to regurgitate the exact words she used and i wanted to look more original while still communicating that. I've actually read and understood her description over here. Here down I'm going to another paragraph whereby I'm trying to explain to her what are the deliverables aside from what she has asked for over here. So this previous paragraph was to tell her that this and this and this are the ways that I actually match the perfect candidate for this job. So I'm coming here and telling her I deliver properly researched well-written and proofread work ready for publishing. 
then I'm telling her that my writing is succinct and straight to the point and will engage your audience and take the load of online research and composition off of you. Here I'm promising her that I'm going to over deliver on what she has asked for and that I'm actually going to give her a project which she does not need to do more editing and tweaking and everything. She just needs to copy it and go and share it on her blog post and her readers will enjoy. Then I'm telling her here at the very bottom that I have samples for you below and I am open for further clarification if need be. You see here we have a place whereby you can attach your files so here I'm going to attach one of my samples before I send. She has not necessarily asked for projects so I may or may not actually include this so if I want I can actually eliminate this before I send. I can leave it here. Samples are not asked for. You may or you may not actually attach them. You have added some signing out over here and now I'm going to copy all of this. After copying that I'll come to people per hour and I'll paste it. Make sure you do your grammar check before you send. So I'll do that. Then you can attach files over here. She was actually suggesting that she's offering 10 pounds which is fixed and it's approximately $12 but that is kinda low so I'm going to give her a counter over here. I'll tell her I'll do it for $22 then I can write a description over here. I'm telling her that I'm going to write amazing blog posts for her. If we're actually asking for £22 people power will actually take a cut and will remain with $17 let's go down here you can see that there is a send button and there is a send and feature so you can pay for your application to be on top before you press send then there is a check mark which you can place here asking to be notified if the project is awarded to someone else so we are going to check on that I can send, press here to send and also I can feature it so I can pay more to feature it over here. To send a given proposal I need to have credits over here. Currently I'm remaining with 15 proposal credits. You can buy more here if you run out. There's a clarification board over here so if you don't understand anything, if anything at all here is ambiguous and not easily understood, you can come here down and seek for further clarification. A user over here is asking for the word count. You can press here you have written to them to increase the compensation then I'll confirm over here then I'll send my clarification or question clarification messages were successfully sent there, there is this success notification then I can now come and press send over here yeah, so now I'll click on notify me when the project is awarded to someone else then I'm going to click on send over here. If the project is awarded to you, you'll get a notification over here. And if it's awarded to someone else, you'll also get a notification over there. Also, people per hour sends people emails. So you'll get also an email alert if this offer is awarded to you. You've seen it, guys. That is how you can easily craft a winning people per hour proposal. You need a proposal like this to stand out from the other candidates. Leave me a comment on what other video about freelancing that you like to see me make. Consider subscribing to this channel for more tips like this and like this video. You can share it with your friends. And guys, I'll see you on another video. Bye.